Reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save Save me, O Lord, Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me. Rescue me from the watches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary. Without dying, you won the martyr's crown beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, He said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, Yesterday, we celebrated the feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross, which I said yesterday that the cross will continue to be the sign of peace. The cross will continue to be the sign of love. The cross will continue to be the sign of forgiveness. Today, as we celebrate also the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrow, we go back also from the message what our mother Mary said from the very beginning when she received the message from the angel. She said, I'm the handmaid of the Lord. Do it according to your will. I tried to put myself in the same shoes of our mother Mary. She didn't know what is going to happen there when Jesus was crucified on the cross. She didn't know what is going to happen there when Jesus was there on the cross. She accepted God's will She said, let it be according to your plan. She accepted who she is. She accepted that she is the handmaid of God, the servant of God. Today, 
Let us ponder in our journey of life and ask ourselves, the way our mother Mary continues to be the good example to our faith, acceptance, readiness to say yes to Jesus, readiness to say yes to Jesus even at the moments when we find things are not going the way we expect. Last Sunday, I shared with you, my mom, she's 89. This December, she'll be 90. And I spent this year more than two weeks to be with my mom, to talk with Mary, my mom. I've come to learn a lot. But every time she was telling me that I accept what God has shared with me, forgiving me wonderful children. But at the same time, I accept each and everything what is happening. Now she's struggling even walking. She's walking with the stick slowly, slowly. And every time she said, I can't sleep at night. And sometimes she said, I just get maybe one hour or two hours sleep. And some of the pains because of the chronic arthritis, all these things, this time she told me, Father, I'm still happy to say that Jesus is always with me. Today, our mother Mary, she's telling us, keep your faith steady, no matter what. Don't lose your hope and your expectations because there are some ups and downs will happen in your journey of life. Put your trust in God as it, it was happened for Mary it's going to happen for all of us. But be positive for what God has shared for you. Be positive for what you encounter in your journey of life. And be positive every time to let God do according to his plan. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am also with you. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, through, this, in the, through the prayers of our mother Mary, she's always telling us whatever you tell us, we do it with love and with acceptance. And for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling in their faith and even with their journey of struggles with sorrows, Give them courage always to accept that our mother Mary, she's a good example for all of us to do according to your will. And for this we pray. Lord, we pray for our country and for the leadership so that we may continue always to respond to your call because we know life is a journey, the journey which always embrace your love. And for this we pray. We pray for Pope Francis and all the cardinals and bishops and priests and laity and deacons so that they may continue always to work together to follow the footsteps which you have showed us, acceptance of God's will. And for this we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will come our spiritual bring. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and the glory of his name, our good and good law is holy and true. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just, is right and just to return our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the, memo the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For fully even to earth ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in the chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Amen. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mary, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Sue Hope, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all have died in all mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other now a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Rejoice when you share in the sufferings of Christ, that you may also rejoice exultantly when his glory is revealed. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her son, we may complete in ourselves for the church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. On behalf of Deacon Tom, I would like to say thank you for your participation and for your prayers. And for those who are watching live stream us also, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Our message today is so clear. Our mother Mary, she loves us. And she wants us to accompany in her journey of life, no matter what. Let us continue to keep our faith steady, even at those moments which we find life is miserable, life is not bearable. But through the intercession and prayer of our Mother Mary, we can make it with an open heart. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.